Crete. Lead the way. Written in stone, follow the old priest. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires his greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful dangerous woman but it was not always so she was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests taught the ways of the gods she learned uh, very quickly it was very strong-willed and uh, before too long it was the priests who listened to her she was loved but there's an anger in her heart and what about this one let me guess it tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath. And she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? And what is the treatment for sword wounds according to Timoxenos here? Dogs. What about them? You use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. Don't give away all our tricks, Timoxenos. Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. You have your treatment, Mistios. Now please, leave the sanctuary. Not very friendly. Meet the old priest at the olive tree of Heracles. Rejoin the old priest in Argolis. He is in the northern part of the Valley of Dreams. It's at the crossroad of the olive tree of Heracles. She's right there. It's 
Set it up that way. That old priest hiding by the tree. Let's go. The tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend, or its olives. Now, where's that priest? I thank you for your discretion, Eaglebearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. And so oh, you die! die. I can't fucking believe it. I was mashing X as soon as I seen the fucking flip, man. <sighs> Stuck in a fucking animation. Unbelievable. I don't think that tails our mother anyways. So the child didn't live, even though the child did. I have to run all the way back there, of course, because why wouldn't I? Fuck. Fucking bullshit. That old priest hiding by the tree. I what the what? Please get behind. I will kill you. This is the day you die. Like that almost fucking got me killed too. So I recoiled hit off the uh go cheer with the fucking daggers. I thought there was one more last time I fought, but okay. Heart for a head. Probably isn't faster to fast travel back, but it's fine. I'll pick up this quest. Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently. 
and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the Eagle Bearer. Wants nothing but Drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing. About the gods. Then she found new teachers. People in masks. They changed her. Turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. All right, a heart for a head. Find and bring back the sacred bull. Sacred bull is in Argolis. Uh, the bull grazes in the northern part of Mount Corfim. The bull was spotted roaming near the Asian ruins. Northern part of Asian ruins, so like there-ish. Oh, big yawn. If I didn't bump the fucking guy, I would have got the uh, crit hit off. This heart is enough. If they want the whole bull, they can come get it themselves. All right, back we go. Did 
did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. <sighs> Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. Alright, we finally have a more direct heading for where this guy is. Good, good XP. Speak no evil. Interrogate my dome, the elder priest at the guest house. Love how they say that. Interrogate. Let's hope no one notices me here. That's a big boy, too. I was gonna say, there's no way none of them see that. Yeah, no, they did. speak so I've heard I'm here to find out why Chrysis did this to him uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself to prove his loyalty to her now why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue Midon is a caring generous man I want answers from him not you tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby he can only answer yes or no. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my sister here, you and your priests left her for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead? How can my baby be dead? 
I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky she survived as long as she did. That that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. Right? <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to her, before finally leading her to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope. Priests without tongues. And babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis. And she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. Chrysis worships her worshippers of the bloodline. She is the final piece of the bloodline puzzle. Can I get a... Uh, no? You gotta be fucking shitting me. I literally spammed the fucking Y button and nothing happened. Literally had no hit detection. That's so stupid. Ashes to ashes. Find and reach the forest altar. The altar is in Argolis. The altar is in the southern part of the Valley of Dreams. It is due south of Torzin military camp. That's probably the altar right there. I was a betting man. I should have enough time to kind of yeah. see this through to the end before we have to uh, call it for the night. Or at least call it for... Nah. Probably call it for the night. Ella. Wouldn't mind doing more, but I don't think I have the... I don't know if I'll have the energy after this. Fuck off. Every fucking time I go somewhere, man. There's just fucking lines everywhere. Are you fucking done? There's the altar of Apollo Maliatas. There's the statue of Apollo, and the altar. Chrysis will find a lot more than a helpless infant waiting for her. A warning. Must be getting close. Help the crying baby. Surely it's not a trap. will die here! Don't worry, 
I'm almost done with you. Killing seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake! I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But she was. Oh, how your mother wept when that little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of her, placed her on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare her life, and they listened. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused! <laughs> this world is pain! I gave the most strength to cope! Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your sister. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Hrysis' reign of terror must end. If what Hrysis said was true, Mirini believes my sister died long ago. I can't let Hrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malakas. Not sure if that quest is for, um, it has to be for finding, killing Chrysis, because I don't know where she is on the map. Venture into Argolis, that's all we get, so yeah, probably, probably doing that quest will get us the, uh, On the right track to killing Chrysis or finding Chrysis or whatever. I'm gonna head that general direction anyways and then we'll pick up from wherever we leave off. Absolutely starving. Scrounge up some food, methinks. I gotta do editing, do some house chores. We'll get there. Anyways, like I said, I'm out for time, so we're gonna end it here. And then when we come back, we will finish up with uh, this Odyssey that we're on. This part of the Odyssey that we're on. Which is, uh, well, actually it's finishing up by killing this final cultist, Chrysis, but yeah. Anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and say comment down below. Subscribe, share, as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.